Hey everybody, I wanted to do a video on this Her Universe line of Star Wars clothes that are particularly associated with Padme and I was only able to get three of them. I picked the ones that are gonna that were pretty much selling out the fastest. There's like two more things. There's a cardigan and a dress that I plan on ordering at some point in the future. I'll probably will order the dress first because the cardigan doesn't look like it's selling out as fast. I could be wrong. But this is from her like from the archives collection. This is the first time I've ordered from her universe in a really long time. So here's like Padme's wedding dress as just the top. Now the size is pretty big because I had to just order what was left. So this is a 3X. And it's got like this really pretty lace with beads and things super pretty and then I got the Geonosius battle top it has her little like silver bracelets sewn into it this is a um, a plus size one that I had to get because this was all the what was available and this is a three um they were ranging between like 40 and 50 ish dollars um it kind of depended on what you got so this one is kind of big it's from the same collection from the archives and then the last one i got was an episode one inspired outfit or top i mean and <clears throat> it's her handmaiden outfit it's just a, a hoodie and again I had to order the size that was available it's not my size unfortunately but since it's just a a hoodie it's not going to be as big of a deal as some of the other tops but this is a plus size four and again it's also from that same collection and it's got this really pretty detail on the sleeves and I, and I'm going to try these on and let you see how they look on me. Before I do that, so I'm in my parents' bedroom. <laughs> because they have this mirror. So you can actually... So this is what I'm going to wear like underneath them. Because they are probably too big on me. We'll see. So I just wanted something underneath. Because I didn't want anything showing off that shouldn't be. <laughs> So there's that, and so I'm going to stop the video, and then I'm going to put one of the outfits on, and I'll show you in a second. Okay. So here's the wedding one. It actually fits pretty good. I definitely will have to wear something underneath this. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty low cut top, uh, especially if I want to wear it to work. I think if I had something like this, but white, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely wear it to work um it's really pretty I need to find like maybe a bottom to go with it but it's pretty it, the sleeves are kind of you can see a little bit through them it's really pretty I, I really like this and it fits pretty good um I definitely think I will get this size for the dress um, just because if it shrinks after a few washes that way I can still wear it um, I will say I probably won't wear this too often just because I think the fabrics pretty delicate but I really like it and if you see the detail right here it's really pretty look at the I don't know if you can tell Right here it's like the Naboo symbol which is really pretty and again it has like these little beads I think they're supposed to be like pearls but they're obviously like not 
they're just beads that kind of emulate pearls. They're kind of, oh, they're not on this side of the dress top. That's weird. I wonder why it's only here. I'm not sure. But anyways, I really like it. Um, it does have like a bottom layer, see? So that's cool. It's really nice. I recommend it if you can still get it. I mean, especially in your size. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and try the second top next. Here's the episode two top for the Battle of Geonosis. Um, <laughs> the sleeve's pretty long on me, but that's okay. Uh, I like that the material doesn't look too see-through. You can't see the blue dress that I'm wearing through the material, which is nice. That's something I do worry about when I wear white. Um, <laughs> but I think like overall, it fits pretty good. It is a little long and that's okay. I might actually buy a pair of like white leggings because this is so long. As you can tell, oh wait, hold on, sorry. It's going down like to my thighs so I think this will actually work with a nice pair of leggings I'm kind of boiling in this though because it's summer so this is definitely a top for winter to wear or maybe fall I wanted to show you this detail I didn't notice there's that symbol again on this part of the sleeve which is cool yeah it's a pretty simple top I mean, I'm sure someone could have just made this on their own. Um, it was quite pricey for what it is. <laughs> I think, honestly, you're paying because it's a Star Wars shirt, and that's part of the price. And, yeah, I think that's really kind of it. I think, you know, someone could have easily had, like, made this as a fan by getting, like, a white shirt and then sewing the gray part on and putting this little detail in. I think the only thing that probably would be hard to replicate is this. But other than that, it's, yeah, I think it'd be easy, but it, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I like it, it's pretty nice. And again, I probably won't wear it super often, um, just because I don't want this to, um, you know, kind of like shrink too much for one. And also, um, just because I do think, like, look at this sleeve right here. It's not perfectly sewn. This is supposed to be like that. I'm not sure. But I do worry that this would fall apart pretty easily. I've noticed that with some of the clothes I get from like her universe and Hot Topic is they unfortunately rip easy, which again is a factor with just women's clothes in general, which stinks. But I'm gonna try on the cardigan and I will be right back. Um can you I can't even see because the hood is so big. So it's like covering my eyes, so I have to pull this down. Um, I do really like this. It's just way too big. Uh, will I be sending it back? No. This one I actually might wear more just because I do want it to shrink quite a bit. Um, I have to see what the drying and washing looks like for this. But I do think this would be pretty cute if you found like a long sleeve red shirt. Because I think like... In the movie, like, when she wears this outfit, there is a little bit of red poking out on her hand. So it looks like she's wearing, like, something under this. And maybe finding, um, a colored bottom that matches this dress as well. I'm trying to remember what color is on the bottom. I think it's yellow. Uh, but this is really, it's pretty. It's just ridiculously huge on me. Uh, the part I'm hoping shrinks the most is the hood because I will not be able to wear this hood <laughs> I'm pulling off. It's I'm a very colorful Emperor Palpatine guys or Darth Sidious and in, in the prequels Don't I look like that's how they did it 
so you didn't know it was Palpatine. Right? <laughs> you Darth Padme, right? <laughs> Um, but it's really pretty, and I do think this will shrink, to be honest, I, with the way the material feels. I also think this is the best made out of the three. Um, I don't know why I feel that way, I just do, oh, it's got pockets. That's nice. Um, I don't know, I just feel that it, it is. This is just, holy cow, look at this. <laughs> Hello. It is so big on me, but that's okay. It was the only size, and I really, really wanted this top. Um, again, if you don't know, Padme Amidala is my favorite character in Star Wars. I was so excited to see this line drop, but a lot of things sold out because of Star Wars Celebration. And also, part of the reason was I had to wait a while until I had the money to buy it because again her universe is not cheap uh so yeah so i'm kind of i was left with what was available i do think the other two fit better overall um which is surprising because that one's also like a plus size top but it was a three this is a four but also things like uh, cardigans and sweaters and stuff fit differently on me personally than like t-shirts and things like t-shirts and things like that like t-shirts long sleeve shirts I like to have bigger but um because they fit better but like sweaters and stuff I could size down and they fit pretty okay which is weird I think it's just because it's meant to go over clothes and stuff so yeah but I, I like this collection. Um, I'm hoping to get the cardigan and the dress. So I will see you then in when I ever, whenever I get that. <laughs> Cause I wanna just put all the videos together into one. I think that'd be pretty nice. Okay, bye guys. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm actually back before I get the cardigan and the dress because I forgot that there was also these items, which Okay, I'm gonna have to. So, Padme seems to be getting a lot of merch right now. I'm not complaining. Um, this is a backpack, and you kind of see through this. It has, like, episode one and two outfits. And this cool bag that kind of protects the, ba the backpack, which is nice. Um, see if I can get it out. You see no mess. I'm sorry. See what um here we go so for episode one you have <laughs> the same same outfit they always put her in which is the seed invasion um you also see this outfit which is nice and again for episode two it's the same same outfit huh the geonosis battle outfit and then you have the lake retreat dress which is my favorite costume so that's nice and her wedding dress which i'm surprised they want to put had me. I know like the relationship between the two gets debated so much by the fans. I had to take it out of there. I wanted you to see the whole bag. Okay. I'm gonna just like throw it around. I, I'm more gentle. So this is what it looks like. So it's got a small front pocket and a big pot. Oh, it's got, it's got three pockets. A pocket here and a pocket there. And it's got pink straps. And this cost me $69.90. And it's by BioWorld, so it's not a lot of fly. Um, so I ordered this through Box Lunch. And what's nice about Box Lunch is you can do something called Klarna. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they let you pay in four. So because of that, I was able to get not only this bag, but also this one which is really pretty it comes with this little keychain and i think this dress is based on that outfit which is uh, not my favorite Padme outfit i think it's the hair that really gets me um but it's so pretty it's made out of this velvet material i can't wait to use this Again, kind of like with the outfits, I don't plan on using these bags a lot. I've been trying to like kind of switch through my bags. That way I, A, am using 
all my bags, but also um, I don't like ruin them too much because I do want them to last a while because they're so expensive. It comes with two straps. I didn't think this was a backpack. I thought it was just a, like a purse. And this was by, oh, this actually was by Her Universe. This is our universe, but I think it's because um, Ashley Eckstein doesn't just do women's items. She does like kids and men now, so. Also, I mean, if you're a guy and you want this bag, go ahead and get it. Why not? Why? It shouldn't matter. What else is in here? Oh, I got a, another strap. Holy cow. Oh, our straps. It's a bag. Uh, so this is a pretty nice bag. Uh, this set me back, I think it was 70. I know, for a bag. That's what I'm talking about, like, making it last a while. <laughs> yep. 74.90. But it's... I didn't just get that. I also got a little coin purse with Padme and Leia. And I didn't notice Archie right there until right now, which is cute. Fitting, because both parents, mother and daughter, had the droid. This is $12.90. I guess this is all stuff that was done for um, celebration. So this is also by her universe. Again, if you're a guy and you want it, go ahead and get it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't have it. Unless you genuinely can't afford it, then. And this goes with the backpack. It's like a little tiny wallet, I guess? I'm not sure. <laughs> you can put your credit cards there, and it looks like you can put bills in this part, so. But it matches the backpack. I had to get, I'm trying to get all the Padme things. Favorite character, she doesn't have that much merch anyway, so. This costs more than that, $19.90. What the heck, man, but whatever. Um, and the last thing I got, which is here, is bubble wrap, I'm kidding. It's bracelets <laughs> um, that are inspired by Padme and you can't really see them because of the sticker, but these will be cute to wear with um, the Her Universe that I got. Probably not the uh, handmade one, just because that thing was humongous. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, that's it for the video. Bye guys. Hi everybody. Alright, to continue with the Her Universe try on video, I finally was able to get this Meadow Picnic Padme dress. As you can see, it goes like, you can see a little bit above the knee for the underskirt and then like the overskirt kind of goes like right to your knee if you can tell it's got like satin I guess I don't know it's kind of like this material I think it's satin I don't, I'm not gonna take this off to look at the label but it's got the pattern of her bodice from the movie obviously this is an easier way to make it to reproduce it because that one I think it's a lot of like little flowers are hand stitched on there and everything and then this little part right here has also the detail this is like a little sheer fabric um and then it's got little straps and it does keep the the pattern going on the straps it's hard to tell it has this little embroidery detail right here and like it goes off the shoulder and then i don't know if i can show you the back hold on let me see can you see it? No, you can't. There is like a little back part under the cape beaters, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's a little cape, but it's part of this like shawl piece, you know? It's really cute. It's a little bit bigger right here for me. Like, um, it's very, very loose. And then the straps are quite big. Um, <clears throat> I do appreciate that this part isn't like super tight on me though because I bought an Amazon dress um, to mimic this dress. Uh, it was like a recommendation from Ash from Always Believe and she bought it for her like Disney bound. Um, I like this one better uh, and it's also more, it's an official her universe piece. 
Um, I will have, there is some like quality problems. Um, some of the threading is like already um, fraying in certain places. Uh, unfortunately, uh, if you look, I promise, okay, because it's the overskirt, I can do this. It's like right here. You unfortunately can see it's not really sewn very perfectly, which is unfortunate for the price. Um, that stinks. Uh, but it is a cute piece. I bought a bigger size on purpose. It does fit pretty tight right here on me, um, but it will bunch up, unfortunately. So, but it's like super loose right here, which is weird. <laughs> I, I wish it was a bit tighter up here so it, it forms to like my chest but it's a cute dress perfect to wear anywhere really like you don't have to wear it to the parks only but I do recommend a better bra <laughs> and then I have my hair like this and you can just do this what do you guys think should I put ribbons in it too I don't know and then I will grab the cardigan I also got now I officially have all the pattern pieces all right, I'm back. So here's the Queen Amadala cardigan. And it's got her embroidery right here from her dress. And it's just a nice simple red cardigan. And then the hood ugh, has like my hair, but <laughs> hold on. Try and like get my hair right here really fast. It's got like fur, like faux fur lining inside. Although I don't particularly like it. Um, it's kind of bulky. Like this part is cute. I get what they're going for because her costume has that on the bottom of the dress for this particular costume. And so that's kind of what they're trying to mimic. Let's see, there, there's pockets, which is nice. There's also pockets on the dress. I forgot to show you, which is fantastic. Pockets and dresses, guys. Pockets and dresses. Okay. Um, but it's a cute little cardigan. I bet you the hoodie would feel comfortable if my hair wasn't like this. Um, but it's a nice light cardigan, I will say, like this part. And it keeps you warm. So I ha didn't see any, like, sewing issues on the cardigan, which is nice because, again, it was pretty pricey. I did get them on sale, so I'm not, like too mad but it is you know like it would suck for someone who didn't take advantage of the sale at the time and now you know they're stuck paying the full price and yes I know my my little buns are kind of loppy this one's bigger than this one um, but yeah it's a nice piece I recommend it for Padme fans um overall I enjoyed this collection um I am missing like the lake dress and the like what is it the blazer the purple blazer she had for the Clone Wars collection um, but that's it for Padme I have all the pieces now I did get a Leia poncho but I thought I'd just show off the Padme stuff because Padme is my favorite character okay bye guys